Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Stone Winter Harvest. This is a beer that I've been dying to try. It is a Belgian-style gold nail that was aged in both Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc white wine barrels along with Stone Farms Merlot grapes. Now, if that's not crazy enough, this was aged for a total of 27 months. That's right, just over two years these, this beer was sitting in the barrel, so awesome, awesome stuff. I actually traded for two different bottles, so I gotta give a big shout out to Wesley Reagan, as well as Black Rider on Beer Advocate for hooking me up with this. I wanted one bottle to try it out, and one bottle to age further, so awesome stuff. Thank you guys for that. Really looking forward to this one. Never made it to Ohio, of course. I think it was a California-only release, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh my god, wow. Yeah, you can definitely tell this was aged for a long time. I mean, just massive white grape, very big white wine character. Yeah, oh my god, it smells like the flesh of a white grape. Definitely pick it up on those barrels. I get a little bit of oak in there. I'm definitely picking up on a really big vanilla sweetness, too. Yeah, they managed to withdraw a lot of vanilla from this, which is really nice. Definitely getting a little bit of malty notes. I get like a little bit of sweet caramel in there. I'm getting some sweeter bready notes. Definitely kind of some fruity yeast esters in there. I'm getting like a little bit of pear. I definitely picked up on some citrus fruits too. It kind of smells like orange. Maybe a subtle amount of like pineapple or peach or something. But yeah, just massive white wine, oak, vanilla. You have this Belgian yeast strain, a little bit of spiciness in there. Yeah, wow. That smells crazy. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. So up front, it's a lot sweeter than I thought this was going to be. I get a big burst of vanilla. There's definitely some caramel, almost like toffee-like you know, malt notes, I'm definitely getting more of that kind of candied apple on the back end too, which is really interesting. Wow, and a lot of white wine character. I mean, that is just crazy. It really tastes like a well-done Chardonnay. I mean, it is just very bright, very kind of effervescent. Again, kind of this white grape note definitely has a little bit of that white grape skin kind of taste to it as well. And there's just a huge malt backbone. Again, sweet kind of caramel, toffee, definitely this big burst of vanilla. And I definitely get the oak in there, and it provides a nice bitterness to kind of contrast a lot of the sweeter notes that are going on. But it still manages to be a very light, easy drinking beer considering the ABV. I'm getting a little bit of some fruity yeast esters, like apple, pear, maybe a touch of clove in there too. I'm definitely picking up on a little bit of this kind of earthy bitterness in there as well, but wow, this has a lot going on. Oh my God. Mostly it's that big white wine, white grape, kind of oak age taste to it, but wow. This has been out for a couple of months and this is just, wow, this is drinking really well. It's got a very nice medium body, a crisp, clean kind of taste. It definitely has that bubbly kind of champagne feel on your tongue. There's a lot of effervescence to this beer. Really light, kind of just dances on your tongue. The ABV is basically completely hidden. For over 11%, I don't get any alcohol. I don't taste it. I don't feel it. I don't even get any warmth as it goes down. So yeah, very impressed. Mm. Yeah, this is really interesting. It's almost like they crossed a Belgian gold nail with an American strong nail with a white wine. It's just very complex, really well done. I think that if you're a big fan of oak age beer, I think if you're a big fan of white wine, that kind of stuff, this would be one to really check out. It's just, I'm digging it a lot more than I thought I might. I mean, I really wanted to try it, but I wasn't sure how it would turn out, and this is delicious. So as far as the rating, guys, I'm going with a 9 out of 10 for now. 
you know, I'm definitely going to sit on the next bottle for maybe a year or so, see what else kind of develops. But as of now, big white grape, white wine, Belgian kind of yeast character, caramel and toffee malts, and then that big vanilla, you know, this nice kind of oaky bitterness in there too. Just a really well done beer. Hides the alcohol. Very enjoyable. If you guys think this sounds good, definitely trade for it. All right, guys, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.